Okay, okay. So I gotta ask, why do, why do so many people like this get attracted to you, right? Do you feel like you do something that attracts these people that want to make up this type of stuff about you, or what? I hear, I hear you, but hold on one sec. Let me, let me turn off the stream so I can hear better. Yeah. Let me uh, turn up my microphone. I mean, not the. I'm, I'm gonna turn up my headset volume. Hold on. There's a balancer right here. Please. Okay, can you talk real quick so I can hear? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, it's a little better now. Let me turn up my... Okay, there we go. We're good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, that, that day that I saw those goddamn comments, I was like, what the fuck is this weird-ass shit? You know, I thought for a second. For a second, I fell for it. You know, the, the comment I was speaking on specifically, uh -huh. where that guy said that he knew me in real life, I thought it might be this one dude that I know named fucking Dylan, but it ended up not being him whatsoever, because I called this motherfucker that I hate in real life. I thought it was him, like, trying to search me or some shit. And uh, he was like, I don't fuck around like that anymore, dude. We've been, we're, we're done with that since, like, 2011 or something. And I was like, okay, well, shit. I was just checking because I didn't want to fucking, I wasn't trying to start nothing with you, as in him, you know, as in mm -hmm. Dylan, that I know in real life. And uh, I, I didn't want you to start nothing with me because I thought we were done with that shit. But that's only for a second I fell for it in, a, in that one sense. That's it. And as soon as I saw... It was just some schizophrenic retard just posting on three different accounts on the same type of information. So you feel like Lona Online Wolf and Cobain are the same guy who are trying they've to gotta be. You? They've got to be. I mean, the chances of them not being that is kind of low. Okay, that's fair. Uh, what do you make of this claim that you doxed one of their friends on 4chan? And, uh, Which friend? I don't know. They didn't say. They never said. The only you? people I've doxed was Justin. And yes, I did force him to say his own shit just to act like I didn't get dox him. Yes, I did. I admit it. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't care. Because guess what? That shit was technically public information, and I actually talked to people that he... He called the police on me, and I talked to the goddamn police. Guess what happened? Listen, he called the police on me multiple times. <laughs> they came here. All they said was, well, it was publicly available information, so you're fine. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to keep doing it then because, uh, you know, he keeps trying to pull up all this fake ass shit about me over and over, but he won't. He won't show up. He won't fucking fight on street beefs. I'm ready whenever. Well, just whatever. Yeah. So yeah, when it comes to doxing, it's not illegal to dox anyone in America because it's all publicly available information. Actually, the now, thing is, some it's people like me actually, if you were to dox me, you would get in trouble because mine is actually removed from those websites. Well, you wouldn't get in trouble with the police. It's against YouTube TOS. No, no, not not against, not not exactly. But I'm just saying I have uh, enough to file a lawsuit. Trust me on that. Who whom are you going to sue? That's I can't ah, uh, say that. You don't want to compromise the lawsuit, I see. I don't want to. I just don't want to talk about that because uh, that's being re somebody's recording this shit at some point. Yo, well, well, yeah. I mean, this is a live stream, right? This is. I mean, I. Well, first of all, I appreciate you joining, man. Like, obviously, you and I. You might not even remember it, but you and I, we go back in terms of being at each other. I was just a kid when you and I really started beefing, and like, you were the one person in low tier God's chat uh, who defended low tier God. You know you. Me and him are honestly good friends, and it really bugs me some days when I log on, and all I see for some weird ass reason on my YouTube feed, I'm just trying to look up videos of like repair, restoration shit, just to learn things. And uh, of uh -huh. course, I've learned a lot. But whenever I scroll down, I keep seeing all these goddamn troll videos. It's like, who the fuck are these weird ass people? Literally obsessing over him. It's too much, and he's my friend. So of course, I'm kind of pissed. So you you guys are friends. How did you guys meet? How did you first become friends? A long time ago, in 2014, near the end of 2014, when his channel started to kick off, I was one of actually. If it wasn't for me, in 2015, hold on, let's skip up to 2015 where it's actually relevant. 2015, I helped him during the summer of 2015 get more subscribers from 5,000 to 10,000. I said we're gonna do this little campaign together, you know, like in, in secret. Don't even mention my name. Don't mention anything about me. He's like, yeah, that sounds good, like low-key shit. And we did that. Okay. We, we, we came up with a social media plan to double his subscribers, and it worked. And from there, things got a little bit crazy. You know how things multiplied over the course of, I don't know how many, like seven years? It, yeah, it, it certainly does seem like things got crazy. Because one thing that I noticed, and you even said this, you alluded to it yourself. At some point, your man stopped mentioning your name publicly. Your man stopped publicly associating with you, but kept privately associating with you. And to me, as a man, that's, don't you think that's a bit that's a bit two faced? Like this man can use you for all this help you give him, all this moderating work. Well, you no, put because, that channel on your back, and then he because won't even behind mention the scenes, your name. I was, I was honestly telling him to do that. I wanted him to do it that way because you, you know I have a family, way. and I didn't want people to think that I'm trying to do this for attention. So I was like, look, 
don't mention me in anything. I won't, I won't even be a moderator anymore is what I told him. I was like, I don't want to be a moderator because there's weird shit going on. You remember that thing that happened between me and Eric Robbins, me and uh, Donovan Hunt? You remember that at all? That's super old, right? That's super old. It's super old, but it's super relevant because that's the start of the bullshit. And I was like, you know, all right, we're just going to do this low-key mode, me and him. We came up with a plan. We had to do things like where I wasn't – look, I, I didn't even want to talk and chat anymore. Right. Because I started getting – upset a little bit about people that were talking shit but only over the internet so i had to back off see see so so i'm I'm actually quite old in terms of like the lore on your man um one thing i remember i remember that there was someone who i don't remember who it was they made an account called last frog and they joined the covenant chat and they didn't talk shit about you but obviously the username was insulting you and you called that you tried to ban that guy and they'll he said no to you and he he said you can't do that because this is my chat oh i remember that and I remember that. Well, what happened is... Was that the beginning well, of the end in terms of, like, you being the public best that was the end. That was the end of me, um, you know, because I understood that he wanted to run things the way he wanted to. He, as long as he's making money, that's what matters. And I wanted my friend to make money. I still want him to. So, back on point, I guess. I'm not going to get off track. I was about to get off track for a second when right. it came to the money thing. Right. But in order for him to keep that money flow going, I had to just let him do what he had to do. And because I'm just his moderator, I'm not, I'm not, I don't own anything about the covenant. Uh huh. So, oh, Shaquille Russell. To... Shaquille Russell was the dude who impersonated you as Last Frog. Did you know that? That was him? Yeah. Shaquille Russell. That sounds familiar. He as used fuck. to, he used to be covenant. He used to be covenant. Now he's troll. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. That sounds about right. Sounds something like you possibility might, right there. You might have to call him out for a fight. Well, I mean, I just don't. Hey Slayer, if you're there, I want to beat your fucking ass, honestly, dude. <laughs> Slayer, what Slayer, what body. say you to uh, the Covenant's number one enforcer? I don't, I don't hate you, but I, I know that you were running your mouth a certain way, and I just want to bust you in your fucking mouth, to be honest. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Why is it hilarious? Guys, guys you can't do shit. Yeah, I I'm can. No, I can. I can. Literally, I can. Name whatever. Name whatever terms, and I'll just do it right. Live. Everybody watching. Somebody's got to record. Get your friend to do it. Fuck it. In fact, we could do a fucking two on one. We're gonna lose that badly. Go ahead. We can do a fucking two on one. Well, right. last, do you, do you, do you see though being... how you're you're kind of instigating this whole thing? Even if no, you didn't wait, hold start on. it, I was asked how this is getting? So I answered. Look, hold on now. Wait a second. I get. I like you. You're cool. But listen, I was asked a question and I just simply answered. And maybe I took that answer a little bit far, but that's just how I answered the question. No, you're instigating it. I have literally never even no, mentioned. No, I'm not you. because he made a fucking video about me that you obviously did not see. What video? Which one? Just go to his channel unless he's gonna hide it right now. You're not gonna hide it, are you, bitch? Who oh, me? No, no, not you. Um, uh, Slayer. Oh, I don't think Slayer. I don't know why you're fucking calling that? What's your real name like? Give me a different name. You're not a Slayer. You're a bitch. Fucking Slayer. What the fuck is that? I don't know. He he's pretty he's pretty fit though, Ray. He's pretty fit and he knows how he's to. He's not throw fit hands. enough. He's not fit enough. To be I'll a... make him quit within a fucking thirty seconds. I'll make his ass so nervous you don't even know. I honestly feel like you're joking. Right I don't see. No, any... but seriously, go go find that video that was very recent about me, and I don't even know. I didn't even say anything about this fucker. Ray, I it don't just think popped up on my feed, and I was like, all right, well, okay, run your mouth in person then. Ray, I'm not. Okay, but like, yeah, see, again, Ray, it it kind of ties back to what I'm saying, which is like. It's it's all well and good to fight, but like, at some point, you just gotta stop, right? Like, there's so many people you can't fight the whole world, and this is kind of what I was talking no about. Way. When each you... person that wants to do that, I'm fine with it. I can definitely do that. I can definitely do it. Maybe not all at the same time, back to back though. I'm fine with it. Anybody? Right, but... Why why is anybody to fear another fucking man ever? Well, it's not even another. You man. shouldn't. But what it is is you don't know Slayer. How do you know? Like he's not gonna pull out a gun. It's and perfectly shoot you. fine. I know. I hear his fucking language, the way he speaks. I know how much of a nervous bitch he is at the end of the day. So you're willing to risk like your Absolutely. your children growing up without no. a parent oh, over that? Like else. that's not gonna be risked. I take calculated fucking actions. Well, wait. What about? But, but what I'm saying is you can't calculate that risk, and like that's what I'm saying. If your family is your yeah, number one, no level of risk should be acceptable to that. It's all good. But Ray, like, what about, for we'll example, see. you know, when you had that, you had that fight, we, uh, you know, you posted that on your channel, it's private now due to the ongoing lawsuit, right? But what if, yeah. what if one of those two decides to pull out the nine on you and decides to just shoot you because you slapped them? Huh. That, you can tell when somebody's going to do that. Yeah, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't. I actually, not long back, did have someone pull a gun in my face, and guess what? 
you dodged the bullet. I didn't fucking use it. No, no. But like, what did what did you hey, learn look, I'm from that? I'm not making that? a joke of this. I'm being serious. Don't don't play with me like that. No, I, I hear you, man. I hear you. I'm not joking. This guy literally at a fucking red light. I got in an argument. Got out my car, ran up to his car, and he pulled out a gun. I said, "Use it, motherfucker. You gonna run?" I fucking punched him in the face through his window, and he shot off something up in the air, but not at me. I was like, okay, why'd you aim bad on purpose? Why'd you shoot it up in the air instead of at me? Goodness, man. I see. Listen, I hope that's not actually true because the thing is, man, I don't I'll believe you. it is. It happened right in front of a Wendy's, and I'll tell you, it was on a uh, place called Cherrydale. My friend, no. there's a thing in mathematics called expected value, right? Uh, just to be real quick, like, there's basically two situ situations there. One, the guy shoots you. Two, the other guy doesn't shoot you. 99% of the time, the guy isn't going to shoot you. But in the 1% of the time that the guy does shoot you, it has an infinitely bad outcome in terms of your family losing you, the father, the man of that household, yeah. the <laughs> husband of your beautiful wife. God bless. You know, it I has know that. I'm, no, I'm not insulting your wife. No, I'm saying you No, I know good. what you mean. Yeah. And, like, that is an infinitely negative outcome 1% of the time. The 99% of the time, it's just, like, a neutral well, whatever. Like, yeah, you got the so bitch on something. So you're telling me that Slayer is going to use a gun on me? No, not at all. I'm asking in terms of you in general with this instigation. Well, well, with this... I'm just saying we're focusing on we're focusing on Slayer and how he ran his mouth and how I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of his mouth for it. But, you know what? And I'm ready to do it anytime. You know what, Ray? Hold on, do sorry. I think Slayer will use a gun on you? No, he but, definitely would. No. I'm, I'm asking, but, would he? No, I don't know. I don't know Slayer to be honest. And no, no, like, no. See the Sir T. Slayer definitely wouldn't do this. Slayer is a okay. He's a good man. Even if, but if you if you continue in life, you know, just taking one percent chances, like eventually, the, that yeah. probability flips against you. What I'm saying is, guess... all I'm all I'm trying to say to you, man, is if your family is your number one. There should be no level of risk to you that's acceptable for them losing a father to having to grow up with that pain. And that's why I don't want them to ever experience that, which is why I'm telling you, know, but listen, these you people, know, you got to you got to realize that. that. But you these don't people, know that. You can't yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, I actually kind of do. I actually kind of do. I've had a lot of experience with this before. Laz, I have one question. I have one question. And, and oh, I, I want to answer it honestly. Yeah. If you had a chance right now, would you take my life? I don't want to take anybody's no, fucking no, life. No, 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 no consequences whatsoever, and nobody would know. I would just no, disappear. I don't want to, because I would go to hell. I'm not going to take your life. I, I believe in God. So You're a man of God. I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, me too. I mean, my name's Lazarus. You think I made that up? Yeah. I didn't make that name up. Lazarus nope, Nazareth. Just... Sorry, you were saying Slayer? No, because he keeps coming back. Yeah, Lazarus. Yes, I know Lazarus. I know the whole story about Lazarus. All right, well, that's good. I'm glad you do, because uh, it's a very important story to me. And I'm not sitting here saying I'm some Bible-thumping motherfucker. I actually believe in God in a different sense. But I do believe that there were some stories in there that was significant to humanity itself. Interesting. Interesting. So so you, you, you're not a Christian outright? Not exactly, no. Because there's been things, discrepancies that, and, and, and uh, what do you call it, inconsistencies that kind of shocked me in the sense of, well, I better not read that too much because it's, it, I might become a fanatic. Ah. I didn't want that to happen. So what would you say to the people who would say that you kind of did become a fanatic, but for a man in the form of Mr. DeLon Sparrow, as you would well, call Well, why would they say, okay, what makes, okay, hold on. We all have a, a couple good friends in real life, right? I hope I hope you do. If yeah. not, well, I don't know what to say to anybody that doesn't. But I know I have a couple really good friends, and guess what? He reminds me of a friend of mine that I still have to this day somehow. I'm, you know, as old as I am. I still have this friend that I've known since second grade, and he reminds me a lot of him. So how am I not going to be friends with DeLon? Of course. I, I hear what you're saying. Just get along. And I appreciated also, even at the beginning of LTG's channel, how he was straight up blunt with people. He didn't fucking sugarcoat anything, you know, that. all that nonsense. So I was like, oh, okay, this is actually a pretty cool type of gamer. Very few people would act like this. And so I was like, all right, I, I kind of, I'm kind of the same way myself. Of course I'll get along. I, so I wanted to help him. I saw that he had a lot of people trolling him. I put myself in his shoes. Mm -hmm. And so, because, you know, I don't like trolls running their mouth. I don't know. I, so I believe what you're saying, right? But here's the thing. When I, I know I said this earlier and you kind of disagree, but I see a one-way road in this. I see you did a lot for him, and I don't know what he did for you. Like, is there something? Oh, I know what you're saying. Thing? Okay, I, I see what you're saying. No, he did. It's just things, you know. Can you give an example? If I was okay, so I had a friend named Aaron. He helped get him a PS4. Okay, okay, but I'll, I know what you're talking about. There was a, he actually did that as a YouTube video. I remember that too. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, was my, that was my that friend was Aaron, internet friend, of but, course. Was yeah, yeah, and that was a good moment for him. God bless him. But I'm talking about you. I, I know Aaron's your friend, but I'm saying you, Ray Lazarus. What has he done for you? 
Mr. Ray Lazarus. Well, if I was to speak about that, it could make him upset a, a little bit about, you know, all this conversation that we're having with people that obviously hates him. So there's that's a little bit of a personal question in the sense of I wouldn't ask you too much about what, what you talk about with your best friend in real life. Mm. And, you know, me and him, me and Dale, as you call him, Delon, whatever you want to call him, LTG. Mm-hmm. I wish I wish that y'all would respect him in the sense of uh, call him by his normal name that he goes by now. But if you don't want to, whatever. Anyways, point is, I wouldn't be asking you that type of thing. You know, let's just say it's like this. He's just like my other friend in real mm-hmm. life. All right, I respect that, Laz. Do you know the reason why I'm still here? Not 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 right now. Not because you jumped in. You want to beat my ass, whatever all that. Do you know why I'm in the troll community? Not even really. though, no, even though. I'm actually a neutral party. I never said I hated it. What him. I'm saying, no, there was a video you made that was fucked up, man. Talking about the roast Which of one? Tear Gas? I don't remember exactly where it was because I don't take that hardcore of notes, but I know it was very recent. The roast of Tear Gas? Yeah. 200,000 views? Um, Hour long? I'd have to go look. Pull it up on the stream. I'm, I'm looking at the stream for a, for a moment. I hear the roast okay. of Tear Gas. So, two things. I even said at the beginning of the video this was for entertainment. Secondly, the reason why I'm here, the reason why I'm even still... Why are you still wasting fun- your fucking life on this shit? Well, let, like me finish. Whole day- let me finish. Let me, let me All tell right. You, let, me, let me tell you why. The reason why I'm here is because he had doxed my younger brother, Trevor. So when he did that, instead of keeping it between them two, instead of him going after him, him going, them going after each other, he brings in family, says he's going to call ICE, says he's going to dox, says he's going to send somebody over. That's what prompted me his older brother. See what I mean? Why would he bring family into it? How would you feel if your information got leaked and I said, oh, I'm going to go after his well, wife and his kids? I made sure that's before saying did. anything on the internet that that wasn't possible, that I would always set the terms. But that's the that aside. Being possible or not possible, why bring family into it when it's one and two? It's okay, but hold on. Weird. Wasn't your brother doing some weird shit, like constantly posting things about uh, him and his relationships? Hold on. Yeah, if I remember correct, he was posting about him and Elena and this other fucking tall, deep voice, fucking weird ass, whoever the hell. He, I don't. I don't remember his name exactly. It's this big ass dude that looks like he's just tired or something. Uh, who? Whoever Elena is currently with, like oh, Katie Richard. Bring, your KT brother Richard. was bringing him up or something like that. And I was like, well, okay. KT Richard. KT Richardson. Yeah, KT. But that was way before. That was that, – no, not, not way before. That's recent. That is recent. This happened way back in 2018. That's not – there's no way. Yes, it did because it was the original video that he had posted about the age. And that was it. We're talking about it this guy named KT. I think that was his name. Yeah, that's his initials or some shit. Kevin Thomas. Yeah. And that was way after he had already doxxed. No, it was not, because I know, because I was the one that helped him do it. It was actually in 2020 when that doxing happened. What are you talking about? So the 2020 doxing happened, and that was because of the video that exposed his age. No. If you're, you know, we're talking so, about your doxing information. I'm the one that even fucking helped him with that. See, that was in 2020. Okay, so that was 2020, and yep. that was because of the yep. video exposing his age. There was no, like, KT or whatever, all that shit. Uh-huh. Remember, it's a video where he's like, oh, remember, we're both Scorpios. Well, how do you she's think one, June the King's, that... uh, how do you think June the King's information got out there, too? I just don't like it when people fuck with my friends, so I find out who they are. I get asked questions. He, he's like, hey, can you help me with this situation? I'm like, yeah, of course I can. You want the fucking, all their shit? I'll send it to you, but I'm not going to post it myself. Okay, but in all fairness, that documentary that June the King did, the first one, was not in a bad light, and he even ended it with saying that he hopes that he becomes a better person and that he prospers in the future. That's he true. never said, oh, man, this guy should be taken off the Internet. And I never said that in my video either. I said, hey, what's going to happen Like once he gets banned? I never said, oh, man, I fucking hope he gets banned. I never said that. And people keep posting comments saying, why do you hate him so much? And I was like, when did I say I hate him? When have I ever publicly well, said – Well, it's just – listen, at the end of the day, I hear, I hear, I get what you're saying. But at the end yeah. of the day, it doesn't make sense to me how you – and a few other individuals, I'd, I'd say that I could name them on both of my hands almost, like seven of them actually. A few of you literally dedicate your whole fucking channel 
to like him. And he he has made one a couple a couple comments about you, but then you go ahead and dedicate your whole channel to him. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Wait, uh, I don't sorry, post regularly on that channel. I don't post regularly on that channel at all. I I don't even have my Twitch link. Yeah, but to what's there my- is so flooded by percentage. Of, about him like the percentage of the content exactly. on there it's is like 95 percent about him and what do they start off with it's to expose the things that he tries to hide yes or no yeah it is but why are you uh why do you want to <laughs> waste your life with this you're, you're kind of being a hypocrite you're telling me not to do certain things right well i've actually done almost nothing compared to you or anybody else can i can i answer that for slayer actually yeah, One of the things that you have, you do have to understand, Ray, is that your man is a celebrity. No, he's a public figure, a literal, and, and that's not a trivial distinction. That is a legal Who distinction. Is? Mr. Daly, as you would call him, the Lawn Sparrow. I'm being respectful to you. Yeah. Uh, he is a literal celebrity. You know, he has a Wikipedia page. He has Instagram checkmark, Twitter checkmark. He had the silver play button. Like, yeah, by the California that. definition, he's a celebrity. And two... When people love celebrities, they love to gossip about the celebrities. They love to like analyze their life because these celebrities they inf- and they impact a lot of people. Not just you. We're talking about thousands of people that never even make YouTube accounts. These little boys that look up to him. And three, I always say this, and a lot of people never can really respond to it. The amount of coverage that they'll get compared to, for example, his most closest his closest peers. We have to admit it. Are Wings of Redemption and Dark Side Phil. And if or- you see the terrible shit. Dark Side Phil cannot even sneeze on camera without people saying that he needs to end his life immediately for doing it. Compared to those two communities, like, your man's trolls are really benign, man. I think even you got to dodge that. Well, what, what's, a, uh, what's a big example? What do you mean? Okay, here's, a, here's an example. Do you believe that the Symphony Discord doxes uh, Delon? They did one time. No, that was Goons 1.0. This is a separate Discord happened. that was already We know nuked. the information was leaked in about 2015 from a package that was on camera. But somebody yeah. revived that shit and just kept bringing it back up because it was covered up. Temp- Luckily for him, it was covered up for two years. Then someone revived that video and was like, oh, there's this fucking address, you know. You mean his past address? The one where he's like unboxing support, like a, a capture card or yeah, something? Yeah, the one where he's in that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say all the details. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, no, 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 not that. No, it was, it wasn't that. That was a different Discord server that I wasn't even a part of back then, and it was a uh, Bitwave. Bitwave was it? Bitwave, the the one where you could like literally say whatever the fuck you want. It was like a four chan streaming site. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, it was Bitwave. It was Bitwave. Bitwave, there you go. Well, uh, we gonna fight or not? <laughs> Ray, I, I think you kind of missed the forest for the trees there. Yeah, you did kind of miss. You missed the train, dude. That train was there like four stops ago. Well, on the right, you know, man. I really do think that inside you, man, there is a good man. You know, there is a man that cares about his family, and uh, I would love to see you, like, as you were just saying to the trolls earlier, like, just let this shit be. Like, you know, fuck you too, right? Like, just step away from the saw and well, just. He's lost channel and uh people want to keep making shit even after he's gone it's just got like it's almost sexual at this point for real okay so, wait last did ahead. you see okay uh salo you did a stream right after he got banned i did a stream like maybe two days after he got banned mm-hmm. and i said my thoughts about his channel getting like uh terminated mm-hmm. were you there last someone asked me what hold on hold that thought for a second someone said why do i use the n-word i only did that once and that was uh to donovan hunt yeah, don't worry about chat. If there's a, if there's a good yeah. comment in chat to inspire conversation, please just. All right, uh, what was he saying again? I, did, I almost hold on. What were you saying? Slayer was mentioning that we streamed after um after Del immediately got banned. Do you remember uh, Slayer? What you were? Uh, yeah, I said I said uh, if you watched that stream where I was giving my thoughts on what he should do mm-hmm. uh, since he got his channel terminated. Were you there? No, I wasn't there. That wasn't me. Okay. Look, there's well, a lot. Of, there's actually three fake accounts, and one of them is run by Justin. He's a bit. Uh, yeah, I know. I, 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 don't, I don't care about those fake accounts. I don't care about Justin. I don't give a fuck. No, I, wasn't, anyway. I wasn't there. Why? So my thoughts were, it wasn't even like, yeah, he got banned. Because I, I know that you made the video that's like, oh, you guys are celebrating this and this and that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't celebrating. I wasn't sad. I wasn't happy. Oh, I, wait, hold honestly, on. I remember this now. Yeah. 
I was indifferent because I was like, this is his opportunity to go to Hollywood, to go and do auditions, do everything that this prevented him from doing. This is actually good for him to actually start anew. Because after a while, after a year or so, let's say he's not on the internet for a whole year. What's going to happen to all that? He needed more time. He just needed more time on the platform. You know, even if that was to, which it has happened, the ban happened, whatever. He needed more time on here to get to the point where he could leave it, like, without any issues. I mean, that's fair, but if you understand what Slayer is getting at, he's saying, like, you can listen. Here's a great example of what Slayer was just talking about. You and the three of us, and the four of us, Serti included, we're having a very congenial, pleasant conversation, and even though we, we are diametrically opposed, do you know what happens when a Wings mod or Wings himself joins, like, the Wings Trolls Discord and tries to have a genuine talk with them? They flood him with all the worst things you can imagine. Nothing productive gets said at all. They say they spam a hard R, you know, they freaking call his wife a worthless bitch, say they hope he has a heart attack and dies, say they hope he ends his life, well, all this type of see, shit. See, why do people want to waste their time doing that, honestly? See, the only thing I've ever done is respond to certain individuals just because just because I've been Delon's number one moderator since twenty fourteen, you know, the, the guy or the guy in the background even when I disappeared for a while, but I was actually there just because I'm his moderator. People want to, uh, they tried to pull up pictures like old ass pictures of me and stuff. Mm-hmm. Some are new, some are not. They tried to, uh, add my family on Facebook under fake names of my other family members, you know, to, mm-hmm. to get them to accept or whatever. Yeah, I so I had that. to call my family members and shit. Right. I got it covered up luckily. And also, uh, that's not going to work because they're very informed of what's going on with the internet now. So don't even try that, y'all. Uh, it's just not going to work. And yeah, that was going on. So just because I was number one moderator for Low Tier God for the longest time, that people uh, started doing all that shit to me. So I, I call out each individual that I see doing that. I'm like, okay, come say it to my goddamn face. That's all there is to it. Just how about how about instead of hiding behind the internet, we do this in person, like I always have. I'd rather do that any day because that's just about the time frame where i was born that's how i do things guys i gotta cut you off i I hear what you're saying but what slayer was saying was that you know your question was like why are you guys so for want of better words why are you guys so fucking mean to my friend the law and slayer was saying like well if you look at what we do like it's really really benign honestly compared to to some people it seems like a job like they literally make it their fucking part-time actually sometimes full-time job when they can't even go out and get like worry it's like worry about yourself now if someone wants to confront me I'll be like, I'll respond directly to that. You know how Justin did for two years, but he won't do shit. So I wanted to show everybody that it's not a fucking a thing of, that I can't handle. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to try to. And if they want to back out, okay. Well, then I just proved that I'm fine with that individual. And I move on to the next one that said something about me. I can take it all on. I'm fine. Oh, Laz, you understand that this is also a double-edged sword. So I, I just want to ask. Would you rather every troll channel just disappears and stops talking about your friend Delon? Why do you ask me that, though? No, I'm just curious. I'm just curious about your answer. Did someone tell you to ask me that? That no. sounds strange of no, you to say. No, no, no. No, because, because I do have a reason for it. I do have a reason for, for the question. That's why. Okay, well, it just sounded kind of weird out of nowhere. Um, Ask it again, just in a different way. Let me hear you ask it in a different in a different way. I understand the question, but I don't want to be tricked. So go ahead and ask me in some other sense. Would you rather every troll channel just disappear? Like nobody makes content on Delon anymore. Absolutely. But do you understand that that's a double-edged sword? Because my video, even though it hit whatever amount of views, people have been asking me, can you make a part two? Can you make a part two? Can you make a part two? The reason why I haven't is because I know it's a double-edged sword. No matter how much positivity like I would get, it's also negative because he would get followers. So no, the truth is making videos. At this point, he's wrong. so big of a name hold that on, that on, doesn't please, apply to him anymore. Please, please maybe let, maybe let, uh, about forty thousand. Subs- huh? Please let's let her finish. I think he was making an important point. I mean, I heard his whole point. If anything he says after that is fluff. <laughs> so, the reason why he's famous is you you know the Viscount clip, right? Let's say it wasn't Viscount. Let's say it was just some nobody. And nobody ever really like clipped that. No, nothing was ever recorded, and he never got big. Nobody ever made troll content on him. 
do you think that his channel would have thrived? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Really? It would have been a little bit slower growth, but yeah. overall it would have been better for him as a whole and the group of people that y'all don't know about. Wow. Oh. So Patchouli is a, is a Twitch live streamer. He never streams on YouTube, but I constantly see rage videos on YouTube of him just raging his fucking ass off. He plays Call of Duty and he constantly gets a hundred followers a day on Twitch. And they're like, oh man, dude, I saw your rage videos and all that on YouTube. It's like, dude, fucking hilarious. Shit like that. He's like, oh, that's great. As long as they're not using my name, you guys could do troll videos. They're two whatsoever. totally different people though. I know, I know. They're two totally different people. I understand that. I understand that. But he's still getting a lot of traffic through those troll videos. But he's also respectable. He doesn't go after trolls' throats. And he doesn't disrespect them in a way that he's like, oh, man, I just want to, like, you know, just want to murder these people. Shit like that. Well, as long as it's troll in a, a respectful way. Or, what, what, what's going on? Because, uh, okay, when, let's say somebody streams them snipes them in tech and whatever, and they type in the chat. They're like, oh, good games. He doesn't like that. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you for that. I'm going to kill you for saying good games. Like, as long as it's to a respectable degree, it's like, man, get your fucking good games out of here. You, your character was trash. Keep it within the game. He doesn't keep it within the game. It's like, you said good games? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking kill you. Shit like that. Like, he doesn't say I'm going to kill you. He said I'll ban your ass. He doesn't say, he said get that ass banned. He didn't say he's going to kill anybody. Are you crazy? Great Raven. Great Raven. Let's get I've seen together. moments. No, look, I've seen moments where people have posted, uh, you know, like his license plate. Or address or something that's when i've seen him threaten people but you know what it's kind of justified really because i would do the same thing if not worse in fact yeah i don't know i would definitely do worse understandable understandable but what about the time that he's like uh that this one guy commented and he said you're the most well-known rage quitter in the fighting game community and he said you're one of the most well-known uh, agates and all that and then he's like oh i'm gonna tie you up i'm gonna choke you yada 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 i'm gonna pull the rope so that that's was to get a... that's to get an imagination in their head of like how that's not literal that you know that's not literal don't even try to act like he means that literally he means that figuratively that. like evi figuratively eviscerating their soul is what he means by that yeah and then uh gray raven was like gone for like maybe two months and then came back he's like man i thought this guy died i wish he had gotten hit by like a fucking bus or something <laughs> come uh, on man I... cool. well <laughs> even if he did there had to be some reason why it was justified because I've seen a lot of times where I see, I didn't see that uh, case specifically with my own eyes or ears. I know I, I could imagine that it probably happened, but every time I've seen him respond to somebody, it was justified so far. I can't think of one time when it wasn't justified based on how personal these weird, not everybody, not all trolls. I'm talking about just, there's a few out there that do super dumb shit and Chiba's a bitch by the way I saw that shit last night for a second he's a fucking little girl he's a fucking little woman uh, I you know, smack the shit out of him I think Chiba's a very fit handsome guy I think he, why is he, he talking like why is he talking like a girl though why is he such a beta well he's ESL well he, that's he's ESL he's, he's sitting there telling yeah. everybody to his shut native, up over his native over. tongue his native tongue is Japanese he, he speaks two languages that are completely disparate okay. fluently you gotta respect that no that's that, cool man. that's cool but that's why he sounds like that. That's why his voice sounds like. Oh, more... I'm not talking about his physical. No, I don't mean it like that. I'm talking about the language he used. Telling everybody. To... I'm not talking about his physical voice. Nobody can help that. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. Literally, I'm not making fun of him or his race or his throat or whatever the hell's going on with it. I was talking about the way that he was telling everybody to shut up constantly and cutting people off, which you know was happening more than I've ever cut anybody off. And that, you know, like way more. He's literally sitting there all night long. I joined this thing. It said there were 60 people. After about 15 minutes, I was like, damn. And then I came back three hours later. The shit was still going on. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch the stream. I know it's it was boring as fuck. And then all of a sudden, I, I actually don't hate Demigod or anything, but he joined and tried to calm it down because Chiba seemed like he was really upset over nothing. Really? And he was just, he was turning into like a fucking girl. And everybody, even his chat, was starting to turn against him. He got all frustrated. I don't know exactly how it ended because I was like, "Fuck this! I'm, I'm gonna watch some other shit." Well, I again, I haven't watched it, so I can't speak on it whatsoever. I, I in my experience, Chiba tends to be a pretty reasonable guy. I, I, I'd have to see that, but I, I can't just believe it off the top of my head. I mean, I've seen Chiba post videos talking about chicken legs, this chicken legs, that. Of course, uh, you know, being uh, black and irritated by that, 
he's going to respond in an extreme way, call him fucking chink, shut eyes, whatever the hell the words are. Who, who, wait, who? Dale? I'm talking about the way that Chiba uh, posts these pictures on his thumbnails and shit on his previous videos with like these chicken leg memes or some shit. Like that's fucking retarded. And then, and then he wonders why somebody's going to get a little extreme with him about his race. Well, again, I can't speak to Chiba versus Dale. They have their own. They have a deep. Maybe he should speak goes... about it though. But he didn't want to mention that. He didn't want to mention all of the thumbnails he's made over the time that he's been on here. You know. Yeah, it's apparently kind of stupid. the stream is privated, so nobody can see it. According to Karmic Dragon. It's Brad. because you know why? I'm I'm guessing. This is my opinion. The reason why I think that he must have privated it. I didn't even know that, by the way. He must have privated it because <laughs> his chat started to turn against him. Like, why? They were like, "Why are you getting so upset? Why do you sound like you're about to cry?" And it did sound like it. And this is when I was like, okay, this is getting fucking weird. I don't know who it was else besides him and Will. There was these other two guys that was in there. Will as in uh, yeah, Demi Demigod, God, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah I know that Shex, happened. Shex Skype was in there. I, I, that's all I saw. I know Shex Skype, neutral, neutral guy on this matter. But that's beside the point. That's neither here nor there. I feel like that's you versus Chiba, and I really can't. I, 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 I just don't know Chiba. I like Chiba. Uh, I know I know he he's been pissed at me a little bit recently. God bless him. I don't know why, but um, I like him, uh, and I really can't speak on that specifically. I'm sorry. Well, if uh, anybody wants player. to keep up videos, of, this is all I'm gonna say because if anybody wants to keep up videos about me or whatever, go ahead. But why not just uh, why don't we settle it in person instead of on the internet? That's what I say. That's, Wait, a, that's the bottom line for me. See, you, like, go ahead. I don't. I, I've been trying to count. I lost count. How many times is it where it's like it? It just it loops back to the same thing, right? It's like Why anyone it? it's wants not to my fault. anyone wants to fall slightly out of a line, do anything wrong in life. Why don't we just go straight to the physical violence? Exactly, that's yeah, exactly how, right. Why yeah, not? but how? How can you say like you know I I can calculate every risk. I know no one's ever gonna harm me when you really want to fight with just about anybody on the internet because. Everyone hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, name the people that you think that I've wanted to fight or whatever. There's like maybe two, huh? Yeah, in the last like ten minutes, you've listed more than two. I'm uh, like, uh, no, I listed I, people. I didn't say I wanted to fight them all. Hold on, no, you're just getting, putting words in my mouth. You're twisting something. No, there. You, you know who they are. There's like two or three actually at the most, and that's because they did some shit that was way beyond normal. Like uh, trying to, they tried so hard to find pictures of my wife and my son. Luckily, they can't do that, but they tried. The fact that they tried, yes, I do want to violently beat the fuck out of them and go to jail for it. I don't give a fuck. I have plenty of money. I'll get myself out. Well, I believe that. I It'll believe... be worth it. You said, you know, I made you know sense. What? And that's well me. and good. I'm not, I'm not saying let it go for their sake. All I'm saying is let it go for your family's sake. There's, you know... Being no, with your saying. family and all that, like I'm trying to look out but for you. But it's because they were at trying the end to of the do day. things. Hold on, it's because they were trying to show information about my family that I said those things, and it's only towards two individuals. Two individuals tried to do that, and you know, one of them was Justin. The other person, I'm not going to name him because they don't deserve to even be known, and all that good shit. You can try to search it. Maybe he's irrelevant now. I don't know, but there was two people that I literally have threatened. Yep, and yes, the police were called on me. And they came here and we talked about it and all that shit. So Newark made even uh, the FBI came for me actually. Newark made just to respond to what you said. I'm sorry. Uh, it's not that I'm not defending Chiba. I just said I literally don't know what Ray is talking about with the live stream. And uh, we, again, I just literally don't know what he's talking. about. I don't believe it at face value. Well, I'm not to insult you, Ray. I don't believe it at face value because like every interaction I've had with Chiba, I've never seen him like that. Uh, Again, I was just saying that I know he I'm was. I'm just talking about me. those thumbnails where he was making fun of my friend, you know, talking about some chicken like this or that. But he wouldn't say it to his face, though. Why, why, why do all that shit on the internet? And and if and if it is discovered to be that way, all said on the internet, if someone comes, to, it's like say if I was to make a video about somebody that I really hate on the internet or whatever, which I I don't really go for individuals on the internet unless they start something with me first. But let's say I I started something with someone, right? I would expect that they would get pretty mad enough or upset enough to, uh, in some manner, to want to come for me in real life. And, I, you know, I, I, I'm one of those people, I'd, I'd be prepared for that. I don't want them to not be prepared either. I want them to be fucking ready because I'll take things a little bit more extreme than most based on my fucking anger levels of uh, certain type of situations. Like, you don't fuck with family. Yeah, and, um, yeah I believe you, Astro Kobe. I believe you, Newark Sorry to cut you off. 
But um, that's a that's a fair point you're making, right? Here's what I would say to you, man. Here's what I would say to you. You, I think you acknowledged this earlier. You know, you said you did a lot of work for your friend Dale, and even though you can't say precisely what he's done for you, you even admitted earlier that what he's done for you hasn't been quite as much as what you've done for him. Maybe not, not, but every individual is different, though. Yeah, but I'm not sure that you're getting. I'm not sure that most of this is worth it for you, man. Like, I see what you. I saw you, you know. I, you, you speak. Well, in order to people. keep, in order to keep such an entertaining thing going, you know, because his, he's my favorite YouTube channel. You know, my favorite YouTuber. Well, and I, not just that. He's a friend. I do have to point out he's no longer a YouTuber, unfortunately. Well, whatever it is, he's uh, you know, big name, cool. And that was just the most entertainment I've had when it comes to gaming, when watching people play games and, you know, all that good shit. Is there uh, any so, go, Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't think, okay, uh, regardless of what uh, Laz has done for DeLon and what DeLon has done for Laz, even if it hasn't equated to the same, I feel like what Laz has is that DeLon had said, like, you know, he hasn't given much back, or maybe he has. Who knows? They want to keep that a secret. So uh, I feel like what it is is that um, it's in the future that um, that he'll be like, oh, like, you know, when I'm well off, when I'm an actor, when whatever happens when he gets his big break, if he gets his big break, that's when he's like, now, like, you know, it, it, it's when he gets his, uh, I don't want to say reward. The fact that LTG that's... has children with my wife is also a thing. No, I have never said that. I don't think anyone in this chat has ever said that. <laughs> no, I mean, that's actually reality, so we have to share my child. Wait, what? <laughs> I hope you're joking, man. <laughs> that's a fucked up thing to say about your wife, dude. Come on. Fuck that bitch. She's right over here. She can hear me. Oh, my goodness. So oh, it's a beautiful Hey, Laura, come in here for a second. Her name's Laura. 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 Yeah, please. Yep. Take notes, everybody. Try to find her if you can. No, no, they, we don't do that. Like I said, we keep it between one and two, and Laz, you're res <laughs> respectable. Let me bring her here for a second. Hold on. Yeah, please get her on the mic. Hold on, she's wondering if I'm on video or something. Hold on. I'm telling her I'm not on video. Newark made at face value. I'm gonna believe what you said, dude. Like if I have to believe someone, I'm gonna believe you because that. that aligns with what I know about Chiba. Like, uh, but again, like, I never Once believed in... God fucked me in the ass. Damn. So you're, you're Mrs. Lazarus, huh? God bless. She put the microphone down. Oh, goodness, man. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I can't even joke about fucking cuck shit. That shit just disgusts me. I'm not gonna lie. It's a joke. I know, man, but... Oh. Joking. <laughs> Oh, man. God bless you, though. You, you got a wife and kid. A lot of the people that you're beefing with are never going to say that, right? Yeah. It's just at this point, that's how that's how much of a, what do you call it, a joke this all is to me. Because nobody in person, nobody in person, I mean, I mean, nobody on the internet is coming up to me in person like they should, rather than make water. I'm, hold on, I just, <laughs> that dude said he spat his water out. Hold on. <laughs> Um, Hold on, I can't fucking breathe. Okay, I gotta calm down. My friend, uh, okay. have you been Let's drinking? Fuck it. No, not not yet, but I'm about to. So you were saying, Slayer? You were saying? I, let's go get some beers with Lass. Honestly, oh it just goodness. feels very good. Yeah, we have half black children now, so oh my. it's a thing. Oh, God. Well, man, do you feel like you drink a lot, Lass? You feel like you drink a lot? I do some days, but not, not always. <laughs> just, you know, some days. I Cognac. See I, I, I worry that you're alcoholic, man. I'm not going to lie. From what I've seen, like, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I, I was. I have been before, but no, not not anymore. You ever think about sobering up outright? Uh, hold on. Wait. Let's go back. To, look, seriously, that was all just a joke. And y'all had to know that was a joke. Yeah, I know yes. it was a joke, but still like a nasty. To, to me personally, yeah, I'm, not saying, to, I'm not saying everyone has this opinion, but for me, like, that's just. Oh, that just like makes me feel this. No, here's the, here's the reason, reason why I brought that up, though. The reason, <laughs> look, first, let's clear this up before I talk about the alcohol shit. Hold on. The thing is, there's this video. Where people take clips of me, right? They take clips of my old shit, and they arrange it to where it says some things about I I share a child with LTG, kind of like how how they uh snip pieces of Trump singing Fireflies from Al City or some shit, you know? Mm -hmm. 
they put together all these little clips of me saying that <laughs> and they made it <laughs> they made it where so a few people actually believed that from here to california i'm in south carolina that uh that happened and that we share a child together it's fucking disgusting <laughs> we don't Les, was it you that actually commented i don't even know if this one's real but it said, oh, I never beat my wife. The last time I beat her was when I, when she said that Charles Manson didn't look too bad or something like that. No, I did, that wasn't me. That was actually a fake account. Okay. But I do beat my wife, though. You do hit your wife? Yeah, I beat the shit out of this bitch, don't I? Where you at? Thank you oh, for the super chat, Nedson Moreno. He said probably going to get an onion sandwich. Also, Lazarus, what's good, man? So was the peanut butter onion sandwich, was that for her because she has pregnancy cravings? No, no, no. Actually, she didn't like it as much as I thought. That was a... Uh, I made it in order to disgust her, actually. So I was making it in front of her mm. or to the side of her, whatever, same thing. And uh, she was like, what the fuck is wrong with you eating that shit? But actually, it ended up being really good because I remember when I was a kid, peanut butter and onion sandwiches were a thing with some people down in the South. So I, I just spontaneously wanted to try it. Therefore, I did. And it actually, believe it or not, it's actually really good. I, I, can, I can believe it. I mean, uh, it it might sound weird. But when you bite into it and that crunch hits, it doesn't taste the same at all. It's very different. It's unexpectedly good. So it's like a fries and milkshake kind of deal? Like kind of like that, yeah. yeah. I'd say it's okay. kind of like that. Slayer, you were saying something? See, no, I told you. Because, okay, lads, you know I'm Mexican, right? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know that. Okay, well, I'm Mexican. I actually, as a child, used to eat onions like apples. So yeah. I don't see anything wrong with, with onions on... Uh, Peanut butter, peanut butter sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, if if any if any of you want to eat that, I'll do 150 push up, uh, push ups per person that eats one, just because I'm gonna I'm gonna prove to you that it's actually good. Sounds like you're very emotionally invested in this matter. God bless. Right. No, it's just no, it's for for the hell of it. Now come on, y'all are y'all are emotionally invested in this whole thing because y'all are sitting here in a circle jerk, and I'm <laughs> I just joined too. Yeah, you you joined too. I hope you've been enjoying it. God bless. So just as, I just wanted to make fun of the whole. There's this one guy that did made a funny ass video that put pieces of my videos together and talked about uh, how low tier gods fucking my wife. It was kind of funny, honestly. Yes, I believe that was Gucci on an alt account. Probably it probably was. So whoever did that, if it was him or whatever, I just was kind of bringing that to reality just by saying it on camera for the hell of it. Yeah, man. Uh... <laughs> If I were you, I wouldn't even acknowledge that stuff. Like you know, you you know, a lot of people are going to uh, clip the hell out of what you said here, right? Uh, I wasn't thinking about that too much. God bless, God bless. Oh well, I dox people, and jokes. It's I literally should go to jail all... for it. Oh well, it's all jokes. We're all joking around here. Don't take anything out of context. It's all for entertainment. This isn't even really Laz. It's not even really Laz. Yeah, right? it's not Laz? even me. See, it's not really you. There you. Fuck it. So, Laz, you said, uh... Where's the cam, guys? <laughs> yeah. So, so, Laz, you said you're a rich guy in real life. Man, ask what you do, because you've alluded to it. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but enough to where it's decent life, you know? Mm -hmm. Good life. Respectable. Respectable. I remember you said... I'm going to... Now I'm going to drink, because if I don't... Uh, what is the words for it? Um, things are going to start to feel awkward, so I'm going to start to drink. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you start to drink, can huh? I eat my sandwich for those push-ups? Oh, you about to do that right now? Would you Would you do it on camera right now, if I ate it live? Um, I mean, yeah. I could record it, but I can't get on camera live for a very, for a very personal reason at the moment. I mean, I can in, in about ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right, I could wait. I could wait. It's that personal, and it's ending in ten minutes. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about what you're doing sitting over there. But all right, I'm getting sucked. All right. God bless. <laughs> God bless, man. While drinking alcohol and while on a Discord call, no less, huh? Yes. God bless. It's man. actually fucking. Yeah, it's happening. Oh man, you are a you are a character, eh? You're a true character. I, I, I applaud. You're a gem, man. Can you can you do me a favor, by the way? Sure, man. Can you say um, Bears beats Battlestar Galactica? Say again. Sorry. It's Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Never heard of that. Hold on. Why does that sound familiar? Did I hear about that last night? I don't know. Oh, that guy said withdrawals hit? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, withdrawals all right. 
Fuck it. Why not? Astro Code V says he's curious about how Laz feels about Gucci stalking him now. How do I feel about that? So, well, since he donated to you $2, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that. Um, I feel like it's actually very enjoyable. I'm, I'm loving it. And I hope that he finds where I am. But it's going to be very hard because I've used money to cover my ass. And in fact, I'm on Google. Like Google also even covered up my house for me. Ah, I see. I see. So you are a big ass patch of gray, a big patch of gray. So if you even went to, if they even knew my address, you'll see a huge ass patch of gray over my whole house, no matter what angle you look at it from. Like a military base, huh? Yeah. Kind like, of. what's what's the advantage of that? If anything, that would just confirm to people that they have the no, right address. No, that's fine address. though, and I hope that they show up because you know if they come to my house. That's cool, if, but if they show up with a weapon, they're definitely gonna die. Just, so, no, but but all I'm asking you is like, what was the point of getting it covered up? Like, what advantage? For the hell of it, just for the hell oh, okay. of it. Oh, you just because right. my wife and you know I have a wife and a kid. Just mostly a that. It's a flex, right? It's a flex. I see. Maybe slightly. Maybe gotcha. slightly. Gotcha. But uh, it's also kind of a bit hard to reconcile. You say uh, you know no one can find you, but at the same time. You know, you're saying that people need to pull up on you. Uh, they do. They should. If they want to talk like that on the internet, they should. But maybe they're not I'm not saying in general they, they should. You. If they want to talk, well, let them have a let them have fun trying. That's the thing. I challenge the internet gods to do that. It's the it's the prize at the bottom of the fucking cereal box. It's like you, you have to like look for it really hard, and as soon as you find yeah. it, that's the reward. Yeah, it's sort of like that, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I answer that dude's question? I think I just did, didn't I? Or something. Yeah. I said something you, to him. How you feel about uh, Gucci stalking you. Yeah, yeah. You, you answered it. Because okay. um, I don't know if you saw before his Twitter went private. I'm not even trying to insult him. I said my piece on Gucci already, and I hope the man gets some help. But, um, yeah, it looks like I'm a minute man today, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, God bless you, man. Well, uh, I'm say I'm kind of glad he's not in this call because it would not be going this way. There'd be too much yelling and yeah. oh yeah, no, there nothing wouldn't. would be. No, there wouldn't be any yelling because I can just shut him down with logic, honestly. Oh, facts and logic, like Ben Shapiro. And a lot of people don't want to take me serious. Well, I, you know, right? The thing is, you you gotta admit you do make a lot of outlandish claims, huh? And I drink. That's why people don't take me and serious. So how how am I poor? Okay, so somebody called me poor or something. Uh, if if I'm poor, how the fuck do I afford, afford cognac every day? Come on now, you know how much that shit costs. Well, can you allude like to what is your line of work? Like you can't say what you do specifically. What? what uh, I'd really rather not do that. Okay, that's. Or can you give us like because a ballpark of how much you make? Um, no, I can't, man. I can't do that. That's a little bit too much. Well, all right. I, I I don't want to know like like how much. Let he me makes drink for a minute and see. We'll see about that. Hold on. Let me drink and see what happens. <laughs> What's Nukenator saying? Hold on. <laughs> Some strong shit. He's saying, did you hit? Did you hit him up because he thought he was trying to challenge you? His point in the last stream was that people shouldn't be challenging people if they won't commit. Tell him I'll commit. It don't matter. I only asked him because I thought it would be fun. Simple as that. With him, I don't have anything against him. I don't have, I just wanted to do that for fun. Now yeah. everybody else, that was see. I said for sport. He knows that. I don't know why he's acting like this. Hold on. Nukenator knows. I said for sport. Would you want to do that? Because that's. I don't have anything against him. I heard that he was saying something about. You know, I went to your channel, mm -hmm. and he was talking about MMA or some shit. I was like, okay. Well, since you know Justin can't show up, how about somebody come up? Like fuck it. You know, somebody for the hell of it. Entertainment. Uh, and I picked him because I heard him say something like he likes MMA or whatever, and that's yep. good. Yep, he recently joined a gym. God bless that young man. He's a great, great friend of the Well, that's channel. good, and I, and I don't want to go against somebody. If if Justin doesn't want to be there, who who does? Fuck it. Somebody. Come on, let's pull up. And I, Oh, I hate to use those words. Ugh. That felt weird. Hold on. Let's and Let's travel to a point where we're both fine, and we just do that shit. Azriel, are you Andronicus Azriel? Uh, you, you ask him what will happen after this interview. I mean, it, I know, on SSI. This, is, <laughs> this is just something I thought would never happen in a million years. I never thought Laz would be willing to talk to me. God bless him. <coughs> oh God. Dude said I was on. He said I was on social security income. Yeah, right. So, 
uh, let me ask you, since obviously you're you, you're deep in that bottle right now, uh, how would you feel if you're? I'm not deep yet. I'm about to be though. But I mean, in general, you're deep in alcohol. You know that, man. Uh, how would you feel if your kids grew up and they emulated that and they became dependent on alcohol too? No, th- this is that's a whole different story, man. Don't. But alcoholism—it's not, it's not it's as much genetic. as you think. <laughs> it, it tends to be genetic. Alcoholism tends to run in families. No. Well, see. I actually have a medical issue, and alcohol helps a lot with that. Okay, what's up? Really, dude? Yeah, you, come actually on. it does. It prevents something from happening to me. What? What's, come on, man. You can't. That's. I've never heard of that ever. Ever. Well, do you know? Wait, hold on. Let me ask you this. Do you know how alcohol acts on the brain? Yes, it's a, it's I a, do. Go ahead. Okay, then. Look, it's the GABA receptors of your brain, right? Yeah. My GABA receptors... They're in a smaller amount than most people, and they have uncontrolled firing. And alcohol calms, calms the GABA receptors down on the A and the B level. GABA actually uh, increases. It's an agonist. Well, it's actually a positive allosteric modulator, so it increases the action on the GABA receptors. No, it doesn't. Hold on. What yes, I mean is, it does. no, I'm talking about, that's not what I meant. What I meant is my GABA levels are lower than most people. Because I don't have as many receptors as other people. So then why won't you be prescribed gabergic medicine? Because or... doctors are pieces of shit. They don't care how much of anything. All, look, all these fucking doctors these days will not prescribe you what you actually need for any condition unless it has to do with, like, depression. I'm not depressed. I'm, not, I'm fucking happy. I feel good. I feel great. It's just there's this issue where my neurons... In cer- one certain area of my brain, especially, they fire wrong or too much sometimes, and that can cause. It's it's not constant. So I'm not saying it's constant, but when it happens, it sucks. Sir, T, Sir T, you you know that I, I I don't want to speak to your profession, but you know how this really works. I mean, like, let's be honest. If anything, America has a problem in the opposite direction. America tends to overprescribe for conditions. No, I, I really have a hard time. But listen, there's some t- there's some people out there that really needs medicines and doctors don't help anymore when it comes to like, you know, anything hardly, but they'll give you SSRIs. Right. But I don't need that shit. That that's trash. That rots your brain. Okay. So Laz, if they're offering you SSRIs, like if it was a seizure they disorder, they that... wouldn't have offered you SSRIs cause they wouldn't help. What you're describing is some sort of anxiolytic disorder just no, based on that. The, I literally have, so much documentation of my own with them. You don't know what you're talking about. Can you share some of it? Uh, well, I guess, but not yet. Just give me a moment to think about which ones I can show, and I have to, you know, I have to uh, wipe out my address and shit on them. Certainly, certainly. I, but I know you. I know you're kind and of. And the doctor's a, names too, in the in the location of the hospital, all that shit. Yeah, I know. I just know that you being you're kind of a whiz at this stuff, so I know you can do it really quickly. So I know you. Yeah, can. they literally. I promise you, there's people out there. I'm not, and I'm fine. I'm fine because I don't need the medicine. It would be nice, but I know there's people out there that are literally getting fucked over by their doctors when they need it. There's people that dies in jail because they can't have their medications uh, on the way in, and they just get ignored. Even whenever people in the cell are like, hey, come here, come here, something's happening, you know, like that. And they fucking die in jail because they can't get their medicine. Yeah, but you're not in jail, so like... Well, I mean, I very well could be if things go too far. Okay, well, I guess that's another reason why you should avoid all these fights, eh? Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, how, if it's mutually agreed on in my state, it doesn't matter. They literally will ignore you. So if if they find out evidence that anybody agreed to fight here, you can do this here, then it's all good. They literally just be like, okay, well, y'all agreed to fight, so we'll just leave it alone. It's a civil matter. Ray, can I, At most. Can I give you my impression, my friend? I believe uh, I might know you on a deeper level than... Any anyone else who only knows you from the internet, I see, I see a lot of your habits. I see like you love the sunglasses. I see you love the alcohol. I believe that you probably have an anxiety Those... disorder, and I believe that you relish in this retardant upon your brain because you think it you you think it helps you. It's it's an escape for you, and I I worry that this is not oh, a good man, path. I'm for fine. You, man. I'm fine with or without it. I just prefer to do it because it's fun. Fuck it, it's just fun. Isn't that how every alcoholic says it, though? They they can quit at any time. It just so happens that they don't. No, I'm not saying I'm going to quit. Fuck that. 
Well, at least you're honest about that. God bless you. I'm not ever going to quit, but I'll, I mean, I'll slow down pretty well to some, you know, I slow down enough to what I hear. Well, you're, you're doing pretty well. Your health is great. And I'll get my blood checked or whatever, every couple months for the hell of it. And, uh, my blood's been good. They even say my liver is functioning perfect. And I was like, oh, I can't, I was like, I can't believe that. Are you serious? And they showed me the papers. I got the papers right here. Just from. I'd love to see weeks ago. I'd love to see that if possible. Well, I could make it happen. I mean, for the hell of it, fuck it. Why not? Please, please. And hey, but what, uh, listen, seriously, I, I get. Okay, y'all want to call me a drunk? That's fine. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can call me whatever. It's not even. I'm it's good. Not I'm even, good. It's not even to be insulting or anything. It's like, I, yeah. like literally, I don't do this on the road. I do this at home because it's something to fucking do. It's just fun. Do you ever drive drunk? Hell no, man. Okay, good. I, I, I hope you're being honest shit. with me about that. Yeah, that's stupid. Why the fuck would I do that? Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. There's uh, many times in my city, specifically. We'll actually, how about this? We'll, how about we'll narrow it down to county? Look up Greenville County car accidents lately. It's fucking atrocious. I'm not going to contribute to being like a statistic like that. And what exactly. if um, there's other people that has children that dies lately from that shit where the car overturns and it crushes them? Like the pictures in my head make me sick enough to not have, like you know it's sickening to think about that. You feel like you feel like this is a good place to raise your family, Greenville. I mean, I've only ever heard you talk uh, negatively about it. Well. Yes and no. I'm. I've been thinking about like one day selling my house. I love this house though. It's pretty big. Yeah, I've heard you call it a mansion. That's why people say you're rich. It feels like one some days. Sometimes mm. I think about obsessing over turning this other thing into another room, but I don't know. I everything's fine. I was looking at the map right now. I was hoping I could see you know a blurred out house, but uh, my vision's pretty poor. No, you won't find it. Trust me, it's not findable. So I mean, you can even search my name, but nothing's gonna show up about me. You might find something from 2018, but that's about it. You prefer to go by your wife's last name, no, Arnold? Is that accurate? Uh, yes. God bless. God bless. I respect that. Um. Well, my friend, I, what I was trying to ask earlier is like, do you feel like you have an anxiety disorder that you really tried to just anxiety ignore? Uh, and... not mental anxiety, no. Physical, maybe. Physical anxiety, huh? Yeah. Like, uh, how do I explain it? It feels like my body's vibrating sometimes if I don't drink enough. <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. I think uh, I, 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 I don't think the alcohol is helping you as much as you think it is, bro. I think it's actually making you <laughs> dependent on it. Well, tell the, do uh, tell the doctors to give me what I need then. How about that? I Try will. to convince them to give me my benzos that I want. Please, please. Oh, by if, God, you're, if, you... if you're dependent on alcohol, like they will treat you for that. No, nah, you know? man. They literally do not give a flying fuck. Try it. Come over here. They'll laugh at you. Oh, I would have to go to a liberal withdrawal. ass. I would have to go to a liberal ass state, and I'm not doing that just for some damn pills. Alcohol withdrawals are uh, actually one of the rare fatal withdrawals untreated. So they kill your ass 15 percent of the time. Even if you yeah, get treated, they can uh, kill you. Yeah. So like, I, I, I'm I'm not sure. I'm totally convinced that they wouldn't treat you just because that would be severe malpractice I'm and good. it goes against you know the clinical standards. But okay, I can. These people think that I can't because I'm drinking. I can't do push-ups. That's insane. What the fuck? Well, I think in fact, it might make me do more. If you do, please turn the camera on. We'd all love to see it. <laughs> I just hope that listen. I would like to hear an apology, For at least about one thing. About low tier God, man. Why do y'all gotta keep fucking act like that? Like, why do you dedicate your whole damn selves to that shit? You know, it's stupid. You know, I don't, Ray. Well, there's people out there that do, and it's messed up. It's like a thing that takes up way too much of anybody's time. They could literally be focused on making good money and buy their own house instead of, you know, trying to make this whole internet thing a job off of someone else that doesn't care about them or even barely acknowledge them sometimes. Well, I, I think you know. I think you know by now. I, I, I think you agreed earlier. You know, your man's a celebrity. and I'm not I'm not 150 pounds. I'm 205. Yeah, you're, you're 200 pounds uh, six foot, right? Yeah, someone said I was 150 pounds. I, oh man. But well, I, can definitely... I, I have but... like no commitment to look your God at all. Like he probably doesn't even know my name, so I'm not gonna apologize for other people's, you know. Obsessions. Hey, Newark. That person named Newark. What's he mean by that? Mean by what? Why do you care? 
Well, he's asking, he asking why do you care what? about the people who talk ill of Dale if Dale doesn't? Oh, why do I? Well, because he's my friend, and uh, that's what I was asked earlier. I was asked, why do I respond in that way? I guess I'm just answering my own question. I mean, the, the question that was asked to me twice, so I guess I'm answering twice for that. But it's because he's my friend, and it's very entertaining. Not just that, but there's more. There's more reasons. He's cool as fuck. I don't know if y'all know him personally, but I do. He's cool as fuck. We have met in person, yes. Uh, we, we've had each other's back on some serious shit outside of the whole internet bullshit. Can you please give me... Uh, go ahead. Couple times. Couple times. There's a couple campaigns that we did together. It was fun. And uh, made money off of it, man. You know what I mean? Can you... I know you kind of dodged it earlier, but just one last time. Can you please give a specific example of how Dale has helped you, Monsieur Lazarus, out? Dude, hold on. Hold that thought. He said try Depakote. Uh, I have a family member on that, and it's very... That's not good. Depakote is... It'll work. But with bad, bad side effects, it'll make your dick not work and shit. You know what? And like, I, like we shouldn't be giving medical advice because it, I, I don't think that's a good thing to do no, over the internet, knowing nothing well, what are you about, talking about him. You were just doing the same thing. Hold on. You were just uh, saying, my you advice just was medical. to see a doctor, and that's like, they yeah, I can, I can, <laughs> I can stand help. by that advice. There's do a anything. difference between saying take this medicine and saying see a doctor. No, it's not. They literally don't do anything. What do you mean? No, it's not doctors don't fucking do anything for anybody they literally try to kill you they make money off of your suffering and i'm not saying i'm suffering i'm not i'm trust me i'm not i'm doing very well i love my wife and my kid i'm right here with them nobody can fuck with us and nobody will would, fuck you, with us. would you not call the alcohol withdrawal suffering though no it's not that bad i mean you just wait a few days and it goes away Maybe I should slow it down, though. You know. I think you definitely should, Ray. I think you. I think you. I think you know you're kind of lying to yourself a bit when you say that alcohol has a positive effect on you. I think you kind of know that it's not as easy for you to back off Here's it as this. you wish it were. Have you ever uh, done something that makes time feel like you have forty-eight hours in a day rather than twenty-four? <laughs> I can't say I have. You haven't. Not even anything natural. Uh, Ray, I am. I've been completely sober my entire life. I know that that David guy is pro probably like exaggerating about how I burped earlier or something. <laughs> Wait, what am I sidetracking from? What's he mean by that? What was the initial question then? What am I sidetracking from? Answer that, and then I'll I'll directly answer. Oh, David Zambrano. Well, uh, I I believe yeah. Shows a Warrior was saying uh, the ten. Earlier you said uh, about fifteen minutes ago you said that in ten minutes you could do push-ups on camera. Can you please do those now? Oh. Well, well, I'm not going to dance like a puppet. Well, no, but no, but but it's more of a physical display of your abilities, no? I could definitely do that, for sure. But I'm not going to do it live because there's something going on in here. Only we witness it. Only us four witness it. So I eat the sandwich, Cam, Cam on right here, but you don't show it on stream. So only we would be allowed to see it. How about this? How about we all make a video of us doing that rather than do it live on here? Eating sandwiches or doing push-ups? Video editing skills are great, though. Your video editing skills are great, so I, I, I don't know if I trust that. I don't know if I could tell if you, like, edited it and it won't be 150 no, in a row. No, hold on a minute. I'm the most unedited fucking raw video person you'll ever see on YouTube. That's the truth. Yeah, but you're good at video editing. That's the thing. Like, we yeah. can't... No, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually horrible at it. I don't have any software that's good anymore. My All my software is gone, man. Because I'm not, I'm not into this shit like that. I let that go... About two years ago, three years ago, my license is expired. Not, not hold on, not my driver's license. I'm talking about my licenses to like cutting and editing and snippeting all that weird software. What was it, NHC or NCH that I last had with Bandicam too, and then Bandicut. Uh, it was trash. I don't know. So Newark made. Uh, he also wanted to reiterate the question of specifically how has Dale helped you? I think that's also. How has he helped me? Yeah, like one well, just one specific example of how he really had your back in a way that only he could. I want to I want to say this out loud. I do, but there's personal things that happened. I believe you, but Ray, outside of the internet, Ray. After ten years of being his friend, shouldn't you have at least one example that you could say publicly, if if it did happen? I'm not backing out of the challenge, dude. Not you. I'm I'm talking to what's his name. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm not backing out. I'm gonna do it. Don't worry. No, what are you okay. saying? Yeah, can we just like? I, I'm, I'm just, just looking gonna... at chat a little bit now at this point. Yeah, well, let's just keep it sort of one topic at a time, and then we'll 
we'll move on to other things. But yeah, one way, um, you know, over 10 years, is there one thing that you can publicly talk about that he's done for you, you specifically, something that was disadvantageous to him, but he yeah, did for his friend. Yeah, we made a group on Facebook and it kicked ass for a while till we got banned on there. Well, that's not, come on, Ray, you know that's not something that was you. not disadvantageous to him at all. I... <laughs> Wait, hold on. You want it to be disadvantageous to him at the same time as helping me? Something that yeah, like he what's was... something that he went out of his way to do for you, basically. Yeah. I mean, it was always mutual back and forth, you know, like. But you said earlier, scratch each other's back. Ray, you said earlier that it wasn't though. You said that you did a lot more for him than he did for you, and I think it's. No, I didn't say that. I did not say that, and I promise you can't quote that because I didn't when, say that. When you put his channel on your back though. When you doubled what his I did, subs what for I him, did what? you doubled his subs for him. You put his channel on your back. Well, I, I tried to not. help do so, and it did work eventually over a summer. Yeah, one of the summers. That, then that's fair. But and that wasn't that didn't take long. But listen, that only took that literally only took forty five minutes a day, though. Yeah, but that's still a lot. That's impressive, right? That's what a friend does for another friend. And what Sir T is saying that after ten years, there's not one single public example you can give of him doing it for you too. Because you were very easily able to say one public example you did for him. Don't you think it's a bit of a problem that you can't say one single he thing? Gave me, he gave me something. What did he give you? He gave me licenses to help him with videos and shit. And it was actually very fun. So, okay, very like you just said, though. That was to help him. That was so he, you could edit his videos. Well, it, it helped me with mine back then, too, before my channel got banned. You know what I mean? Hmm. Before I... my channel got... You know, I had about... One point, what, two thousand subscribers, and it ain't that much, but shit. Yeah, you had a thousand fifty subs. You had a thousand fifty subs, and it was solid, a solid channel. But you got banned, unfortunately, right? Yeah, it's all good. I don't, I don't care. I just, I'm just pointing that out as an example of, yeah, he he gave me some licenses of shit, and I was like, all right, let's let's figure this shit out together. You know, it was fun. My my payment to him was, he provided a very good, entertaining channel. I'm, yes, I'm a fan. It was fun. What else am I supposed to say, really? Well, I think you said it right there. It's not so much a, fen a friendship or two-way street so much as it is a fanship, a one-way street, right? No, it wasn't quite one like that. We also just talked, you know, like as friends do, just talked about day-to-day -day life. That's it. And that's all I need from somebody as a friend. We yeah. talked about day-to-day -day life on the phone. We We still, you know, call a little bit here and there. All right, that's fair, man. I, I feel like you're not going to budge on this, but I do think the record has to stand that when it comes to one example of Dale going out of his way for you, you couldn't really do it, and you could easily do it for you, for him. Man, and you play too much. You I'm know not trying this... to play, man. You know, you know. Come on. And some part of you has to know that, like, you've done so much for your man, and it just hasn't really been reciprocated like that. Like, because if it were, you would be easily oh, able man. to do it, man. We're, he has, we're friends. He's a celebrity, right? He has ways to hook you up that no one else can. Like A little bit. If he wanted to. A little bit. Yeah, if and he, he has. If he wanted to. If he wanted to, man. How come he doesn't? No, he know? has. God bless you, man. God bless you, truly, man. I, I think it's beautiful that you're a loyal friend, yeah. But I wish... I wish you had that loyalty to someone who also reciprocated. I mean, what is it that I need? What do, what do I need monetarily, or what do I need materialistically to be friends okay, with somebody? I'll, I'll, give you an it. I'll give you an example real quick. Well, not something that you need, but of some, you're asking of something that you want that he could help you out with. I've seen it many times on videos that you privated, so please don't say otherwise. You On the video of the fight, for example, in the description you put, can I please get my 1,000 subs back? Whether you admit it or not right oh, now. Oh, that? Yeah, no, I remember please, that. Please. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That was just an afterthought, no, though. But that please, wasn't serious. Please, Laz, you know it would be simple like that for Dale to put out a community post when he had his YouTube or even on Twitter and say, hey, guys, can you all follow my mod? Can you all follow my man? Because he, I feel like he yeah, got Yeah, but look what YouTube did to him, though. So what can I do, really? I'm fine with it. It's all good. I'll just restart. And if anybody wants to join me, and whether they do or don't, it's all good one way or the other. I'm going to be fine one way or the other. I know you will be. I know you will be. I know because guys like you and me, we're not meant to blow up on YouTube, right? We're not meant to blow up on. Not YouTube. really, no. No, guys like us, we're too problematic, right? We get banned. I know I'm gonna eventually get banned, and I'm not gonna give two fucks when it happens. God bless. It's gonna happen to me too. Yeah, it will, because you're banned evading, and you know it. Uh, but, <laughs> but that aside, man, I I guess we have to agree to disagree because I think I and I hope part of you comes around to it and. Uh, does realize that, man, I think for me, my best friend should be someone who also puts his neck out for me. And 
you deserve that if you put your neck out for someone. There's else. just things I can't talk about. You know, it's as simple as that. I just there's some things I can't talk about, and then people are gonna make jokes when I say that about some sexual shit. This no, is where ignore, this is where the wife ignore, videos ignore, come ignore in this, and all that. Ignore those. Ignore those sexual jokes. It's not important, at all, <laughs> my friend. It's not important at all. Fuck that shit. Right? Like this one dude. What was it? Uh, it was actually kind of funny. That that David Zambrano guy. I don't know who you are, but you said some shit like. I scratch his back. He scratches my wife's back. Are you fucking retarded, dude? They don't talk on the phone. You're stupid. That's Play a, too much. That's a typical thing. You can't get right. caught up on them. Yeah, if they're trolling you, like, leave no, them alone. No, I know. But it's because of this. that See, the thing is, this is my whole point. These people, these trolls, will never say this in real life without getting punishment. And, okay, you say it on the internet. That's fine. And I actually laugh about some of it. But, you know, they say it in real life, in person. I'm cool with dealing with it right then and there and yeah i, I don't want to say too much before i could get myself in trouble or something all right so i i think the record stands that we unfortunately have to agree to disagree on the matter of you know your man dale truly being a, a two-way friend with you hold on wait my man dale well, yeah. that sounds so gay well that you know he, he's your buddy he's you know he's your homie my friend my yeah, friend he's your, he's your friend your friend sure god bless um that sounded sarcastic. Why do you say it like that? Hold on. This is getting stupid. Well, getting like, well, you know why, whatever but... you want to call it. Like, yeah. it, it, it's just no, whichever it's what term it is. you prefer. That's yeah, what it is. We didn't, we didn't mean man in a sexual way. Or sexual way. Sorry. Yuck. Um, right. I just meant, like, yeah, someone, you know, your hey. homie, your friend, whatever. Hey, chill with the homophobia. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to. On that note. On that note. Uh, we also yeah. have to agree to disagree on. Um, you know the value of. All right, but who? Well, who doesn't want to see me fight Slayer? Does anybody not want to see it? Do people just not want me to do that? I guess we could just call it off if it doesn't want to be done. F fair point. Uh, the thing is, you do realize that uh, Slayer is the A side of that fight, right? He has three point three four k subs. Uh, it, it... Oh, you mean like that? No, people still follow me. They just don't subscribe because they hate me. Yeah, but it's like if that fight were to happen, a sanctioned fight or a legal fight or whatever, like street beefs or whatever, shouldn't it be you coming to him? Like I know you have a family and he doesn't, but still it's like you're calling him out. Shouldn't you be yeah, coming to him? Yeah, of course. History? I can do that. I have I have multiple cars. Yeah, of course. Oh, you're willing to go to California to fight? It's 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 a thing that could happen, yeah. It depends. No, I think now, so. If he's trying to meet up in some weirdo place in the corner of nowhere, like outside of a UFC gym, then you know, i got to be a little more obstinate and watch out a little bit. But – uh, I'd, I'd rather be here because, you know, my family's here and I can't leave that long. There's a right. certain distance I can travel without issues coming up with family. You know what I'm saying? Like, we work a lot. Me and my wife work a lot. Uh, Newark Maid is in Newark, uh, and he's saying he wants to fight you. Uh, Does he? Yeah. I, I, Newark, New how, Jersey. How close is he? Newark, New oh, Jersey. New Jersey. That's that's not, see, that's in range. That's in range. That's cool. You guys could do the street beefs thing because you guys are both on the East Coast. I'm yeah, not going to lie. I'll hit him up right now. If he wants to hit him up, we could do that. I'm good with it. If I, I were if know. I were East Coast, I would take that street beefs thing that you offered within a heartbeat, man. Yeah. Well, I understand that you don't want to because of distance, but I don't know. I thought I thought for a while you wanted to or something. Last fight, ML342. Thank you for the super chat, Maximus. Uh, I don't understand. You guys can fight without anything, like, extremely personal between you guys you've never come after my family that's why i said you're respectable like yeah. you've never threatened my family i've never threatened yours because i don't know your family and i'm not going to threaten your family this isn't between them and me it would have been between you but it was between me and ltg well see but the thing I is a lot of listen there's a situation let me tell you all something i'll tell you a little story hold on there's something that i should have even told you earlier back in 2010 there was a fucking huge ass dude that was chasing me and my friend in our car tailgating us bumping our car and we all of a sudden had to stop and i was like what the fuck is this dude doing and as soon as he got out the car he literally was reaching through the window as we were confronting him and starts punching us in the head and i was fine but my friend's glasses fell off right and uh something about seeing that made me go into a weird fucking rage where i was like unstoppable and oh so this you, is you went super saiyan sort of but i'm some part of me regrets it because he's missing his eyeball now. It's fucked up. But I just wish that. Never mind. I can't say that out loud. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you don't want to incriminate yourself. I imagine. Um, Slayer. I don't know if yeah. you heard earlier. Last you said he would be. Yeah, I know. I got you, buddy. Uh, last said he would be willing to uh, travel to California. Uh... 
did you, were hey, you don't worry you about the um, the push up videos coming. Don't worry about that shit. The people saying something about push ups, don't worry about that. It's fine. I can do 150. I'll, I'll still eat the sandwich too. But like I said, this is not a, a personal thing. Right. That's what I said. Like, whatever between Justin and you, like, that was completely personal. That's why I didn't jump in and be like, oh, dude, I'll be the best for you. It's like, no, no, I'm not his family. Like, the only reason I did any of this, like I said, was to defend Trevor because that's my younger yeah. brother. Well, I'm just defending LTG because he's my friend. Delon's my friend. Like, really, an actual friend. Whether anybody believes it or knows it or not, that's fine. I don't care. We're friends, and that's all there is to it. Sorry, And so I was thinking about that situation where I defended my friend that got hit Mm -hmm. in the face and his glasses fell off. Kind of reminds me of, like, all these trolls on the Internet attacking him. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah, we'll get that fucking subs up. We'll get the campaign going. What were you saying, Slayer? Sorry. No, never mind. I don't think he. Um, so uh, last thing, last thing. Uh, obviously, I don't know if you saw it before the gentleman private his Twitter, but uh, what's your opinion on uh, Mr. Cor- Mr. Cordova and uh, his de- his desire to kill you, like not fight you? He says he wants to kill you straight up. Like he's not gonna do that. He's a bitch. Would you guys be willing to have a gunfight? Because he's saying he wants to have. a Did gun you know fight. I actually showed up to his fucking door in real life and he didn't answer? Really. Yep, that's why the FBI is after me. Oh, that's why the FBI is after you. Okay, so you that, that video with the black cars, that that was legit? Yes. Got you, got you. Okay, okay, so Justin kind of won that then, because now Justin's sitting well, pretty while you care. got the FBI on you. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. Nobody's going to do shit to me. I'm fine. Slayer's so saying he will eat the sandwich on cam, but off stream right now, currently working at his property, got gloves on, can't talk much. Gotcha. Yeah, record it. I'll record the shit. Don't worry. You, th- you think I won't I'll just do that? I'll do it. I'm not going to do it live, but I'll definitely record it ASAP. Choka, at, Choka, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, he asks, ask Glass what kind of frogs he has. What kind of frogs do you have? Well, let me ask this, though. Why do people... Uh, why are y'all trying to make fun of my push-ups, but you, you want me to do it at the same time? It's like you don't you don't think I can or something? No, no, no. They're, they're, the, people are claim, the people are alleging that you cannot do push-ups, and so they want to be proven wrong. How many should I do? Uh, 30. Okay. 30 knuckle push-ups. Knuckle push-ups? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I broke my hand not long back. I don't want to do it off my knuckles, really. I can. Do, I can. Okay, then can you do them on your palms? You remember that fight I got into not long ago? <laughs> yes. Yeah, my knuckles are fucked up. I can. It's pretty bad. But I, I can definitely do it off my palms, yeah. Okay, if you can do them <laughs> off your palms, that'd be, that'd be fine with me. I don't know if it'd be fine with the chat, but it'd be fine with me. Fine with me. Said, uh, I'd be gassed. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get gassed off of that, dude. You got a good gas tank, huh? You got good cardio? Yeah, of course, man. It don't look like it, but I do. I'm good. That's awesome, man. Uh, we, everyone wants to see those push-ups. We're all very excited by it. Um, you, you don't sound like you want to do it on stream, so you sound like you're gonna do it on your... Not live, because there's some shit going on in the house, and there's I can just do it on. elsewhere. And you can't do it? You can't go outside to do it real quick? Well, you know what the change... I'm not. I'm not that drunk. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, uh, man. Uh, well, thank you again for joining. I never would have thought in a million years that you would. Uh, again, if I can ask anything, uh, could you please say uh, the following phrase: "Bears beats Battlestar Galactica." No, because I don't even know what that means, man. What, what's that mean? It's a reference to The Office. I love The Office. But hey, look, I'll tell you this, just for the record, yes, love to your guys, my friend, and people that waste their whole channel and time on him are losers. And I want to defend that, and I'm going to always. That's uh, that's great, man. It's because it sounds like you're going to get the opportunity to. It sounds like Slayer is going to eat this sandwich after we're done. Yeah. And it sounds like you are going to respond with 30 push-ups, and after that, maybe a trip to California. Maybe you can give the wife yep. a little a little trip out of it too. You know? All right, but keep in mind though. It's going to be hard to do that based on the distance, the time, and no money's not the issue. It's distance, time, and I have my family here. And that's yeah, same with work too. Like, I, I know that you were saying this, like, oh, dude, get a life. Stop doing this on your channel and all that. Dude, I'm working on my second property right now. I'm, I'm legit, not even kidding, working at my second property right now. That's why I've been muting and unmuting. I don't think you guys want to hear my grunts of me freaking picking up these cement bags. That's why I mute myself. But I legit yeah. I'm at my second property right now. All right, but uh, yeah, I'll go for 150, and um, 
If I don't make 150 today, I'll be disappointed in myself, but I'm pretty sure I can do it because I've done it a million times. I believe, I believe you. I, I'm pretty sure you can, but that sandwich better be the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Hey, did you wait? Did you just try it? No, I'm not. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it yet, but I will eat it on cam. Uh, I don't think I want to make a video of it. That, that'd be kind of weird. Just no, no, slayer. no, please. You have to make a video because I can't do that. I can't. Hold on. I can't fuck with that then. I want like, you I'll, to make a video. You make the video, I'll, then I'll resp I'll immediately do the push-ups. Trust me. Slayer eats a sandwich live. That's just so fucking weird. It sounds bad, but it, listen, I'm telling you, it's actually easy as fuck. You're getting the easy part of the. You're getting the easy part of the deal here. Aren't these called mukbangs, Slayer? <laughs> mukbangs are the shrimp ones. Oh, I thought mukbang videos were like you just sit down, eat, and talk about something. And like, I guess you could be eating your sandwich while you talk about life. I don't know. This dude saying that not even the fittest man in the world can do 150 straight. Then I eat it. I feel like that's better than a video. Man, I don't know what they're talking about. 150 straight can't be done. They're crazy. Uh, I do believe that very fit men can do 150. I've done like 64 straight. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. Weighing 205. It's going to be a little bit rough, but I've done yeah. it before. Chosen Warrior says, Slayer, just make an unlisted YouTube short. Would that be okay? Sorry, what was that? I'm sorry. I, you broke up for just a second. Chosen Warrior was saying to Slayer about the sandwich video, could you just make an unlisted YouTube short? Oh, that... Well, mine would have to be unlisted too, but people would just steal mine. Oh, no, but see, I'm... that's the thing. That's why I wanted just us to see it. If we did it live right here, the chat wouldn't know. Nobody else would know but us four. They'd see me eat the sandwich. You guys would see me eat the sandwich. And uh, we would see Laz do the push-ups, and nobody else would know. Do you want so me? it would all be I'm going to do it. I just want, all you got to do is eat the damn sandwich, and then I'm doing it, period. I never I never <laughs> back out of it, all that shit. I can put the Discord on private and watch it and verify for the chat that you guys did it, if that's how you guys want to no, do I'll it No, right I'll just do the shit first, then. I don't know why you're so scared to eat that damn sandwich. Because I'm not at the place where I got peanut butter, jelly, well, peanut butter and onions Stop right now. Stop by the store, man. Don't you have some money? Yes, I got money. Give me a bit. You said 10 minutes. You were over there getting your dick sucked, so you, that, you got to do that. That really did happen, for real. I, well, I know. That's what I said. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I guess I'll give him 10 minutes. I was actually a minute, man, if you know what I mean. I was kind of finished quick yeah. today. Thanks for, thanks for letting us know. Yeah, but it wasn't too cool. In the sense of, uh, well, it was actually got it over with, so whatever. Well, and now you should be pumped up for the push ups. It's perfect. Yeah, it's no problem. No problem. You got the endorphins or whatever. Yep. Got the fucking uh, cognac. Got that prolactin. Uh, Sir T, is there anything? <laughs> you said prolactin. <laughs> you think I don't know what that is? <laughs> Sir, Sir T, is there anything you'd like to add on this matter? Uh, no, I think I've, uh, I've t I'm just surprised while wow, I. I did not expect this. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do a rain date. Just you and me uh, do something together. But this was how still this? fun as hell. Hey, how, let's meet in the middle on something. Let's meet in the middle on something outside that video. Hmm. How about we still fight, but uh, I pay for half your way to get over here because of the fact that my family's here and it's hard to go to California. Me or Slayer? And it's not money-wise. It's just time. I have That's to work. Thing. She has to work. Here's Slayer. No, I'm talking about Slayer. I'll pay for yeah. half of his ticket. Dude, I have three I'll do jobs it live right now. I'll pay for half your ticket right fucking now. I have three jobs and I have a family too. You think it's easy for me to just fucking do you have drop children? there? Do you have a wife? Yeah, I'm not disclosing any of that though. Oh, come on now. I even said my wife's name on the stream. Come on. You didn't say that. You Well, you yeah, did, I did say that. Her way more Laura. than... I know Her... that. You, way more than that. Man, come on now. I'll pay for half your ticket on live right now. See, name, a date, got... name a date and a time, and you'll get flown right back the next day. Fuck it. I'm still wondering right why down the street, there's a UFC gym that I've already fought at before. It's cool. We could do it. Why are there, why are there no videos of that, though? <clears throat> well, there are personal reasons for that. Because it was, uh, you know how Street Beefs runs their channel? Yeah, it was... and it's, it's stupid how they run their channel. Why did they get all the profit when everybody else gets their ass whooped? Well, mm -hmm. It has, let's just say it's similar to that type of setup, except these people, at the time when it happened a couple times, they really fucking hated me. Like, and because of real life things, not out. This is like non internet shit that I'm talking about for this moment, for this one moment right here. And uh, we did our thing. 
banged it out and just fucking that was it. But we never talked after that, and it was actually very, I don't know, therapeutic in a sense. Lads, you run a fight club. Not exactly. But my cousin is a big-ass fighter right now. He's doing good for himself, too. He just fought ranked number one and three in the world in amateur boxing. You know, the, right before the pros, before they put you on TV, TV. Mm-hmm. He kicks ass. Yeah. So, uh-huh. I think we can uh, I think we can also agree that uh, Ray Lazarus, you're looking to take a trip to California. Maybe a little leisurely trip to California and uh, sell it with Yeah, Slayer. but pref- preferably, uh-huh. though, I could pay for it. Okay, fuck it. I'll pay the whole ticket. How about that? Now, yes, I could go there. I can if you really, really fucking need me to for entertainment. But I'd rather, because I have a son and a wife, you come here and I pay for the whole thing. Except minus not a, the whole hotel room thing would be gay. I suppose so. I suppose so. Like if I pay for a hotel for a man, well, that's fucking home. Then let's just leave it at. After the stream, Sire's gonna eat the sandwich in a video. Yeah, uh, and we'll share. All right, we'll just we'll leave it at that for the, just a moment. Yeah, and we'll share the video just in this group chat between the four of us. And you are gonna do all right. Uh, at least thirty push-ups on video, and it's just gonna it's just gonna stay minimum. with our, our video. Minimum, yep. Maximum one fifty. And I look forward to you yep. in, blowing me away. God bless. I'll probably I'll probably hit at least a hundred. I don't know. We'll see. That is fair. That is fair. Um, and there's still no chance of you saying Bears beats Battlestar Galactica before we hit off. No. Oh man, you, you break. I mean, head. okay, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, if you do one thing. Yes. If you say sorry to love to your God. For what? Just in general, for oh. just for all the people that you're associated with that dedicate your lives to talking shit about them. Hmm. We'll have to rain date that agreement, my friend. I agree. All right, that's fine. But I'll, I'll say you... that whenever you say that. One question though. Does he know about this? Is he watching? Like you, you really don't have to answer, but I'm, I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm slightly curious. Is he watching or does he know? Sorry, hold on. I was actually not. I heard the at the last end of that. I was doing something. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Like, it, does he know about this or is he watching? You don't have to answer, but I, I'm generally just curious. No, uh, probably not. But he's gonna find out. Yeah. My fucking my husband like, is gonna find out very soon. Do you think he'll like? Go ahead. No, I just said we don't want to get him in any trouble or anything like that. Like you know, they're really good friends. <laughs> want to get in any any sort of trouble with them? Like you know, I don't want their friendship. I just jeopardy. apologize to my husband, and it's all good. God bless. God bless. These yeah. people in chat are fucking crazy. Oh yeah, well, I, 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 there's nothing I love more than this channel's chat room. But, um, Who the fuck are these people? Well, all right, yeah. Upload your shit and make it not unlisted. Don't worry. And then I will immediately post the whole push-up thing. Don't worry about uploading. For now, let's just focus on in within our private group chat. Slayer is gonna eat a sandwich, and Sl- Ray is gonna do thirty push-ups, max of one fifty. Let's just leave it at that because I don't want to get Discord on my phone. I gotta get Discord on my phone. In the weeds, you know. We'll leave it at that. Um, is there anything any of you three gentlemen would like to say before we head off? Um, yeah, I'm ready to fight ASAP. God and uh, I'll pay for the whole fucking ticket minus the, uh, I'm not going to pay for like a hotel though, because that's gay. And I'm just not like that. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. yeah that, that certainly you can't pay for a man's hotel room without being homosexual. Great point. Uh, that's Slayer, exactly right. Slayer, is there anything you would like to say before you head off my friend? I think Slayer is probably busy with his work. Uh, Sir T, is there anything you would like to say before you... Uh, before uh, you the only way I come is if you pay my uh, immigration consultant fees. Otherwise, I'll have to pass How, on Wait, what's that? What kind of shit does that involve? I've never even heard of that before. He's not American. Oh, wait, where are you? I thought you were in California. No, I'm, that was Slayer. Oh, you? I'm up oh, north. I guess we can't really... Hold on. Uh, you're up north... Oh, you're in Canada? Yeah. Oh, oh man. I don't know about all that now. That's a little bit much. Uh I want to. I thought you were um I thought you were in the USA, man, somewhere. No, well, whatever. Maybe another Well, there's no of... reason for there's not as much of a reason for me and you two compared to me and Slayer. Fair enough. 
See, I was just talking to you about sport, and I would love to do it, but I didn't know we were that damn far apart. No, we're not. I was just curious if, like, if theoretically things were to devolve, I was just curious, like, where you drew the line. Oh, well, I see what you're saying. You could even be saying that you're from Canada when you're not, though. I don't think you're from Canada, dude. My profile picture is literally Royal Canadian Air Force. Oh. Like, that that would mm. be pretty far to go on that. That would be kind of weird. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But, uh, yeah, tell Slayer, um, I'll just, this is my last words for real, literally. I'm gonna go make the video right okay. now, and I'm gonna upload it because that's hey, all. What the what... fuck are you talking and about? And it will stay just between like... the What was that? Huh? Huh? Who? What the fuck is who talking about? Craig in the chat. Oh, Craig, keeps... Craig, Craig is insane. Yeah, Craig is. Uh, Craig is just a Kiwi farmer who. Uh, he just loves to say shit to rile people up. God bless him. I love him. He he usually mm-hmm. talks shit at me, so uh, I'm impressed he's talking shit at you. God bless that man. No wonder he sounds that way. <laughs> but um, it's all good. Uh, I'll, this is my last words. I'm gonna go make the video, and I'm gonna trust that the uh, yes, sandwich sir. video is gonna be made. And it will stay I'll just between it. the four of us here, right? It's going just in this group chat. I guess so. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Uh, I'm gonna have a drink real quick before I say one more thing. Hold on. Let me get a little drink. Some good water, I hope. <sighs> yeah, there's water beside me too. I got water right here. Big jug. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely pay for the whole thing now. Because I'm starting to wonder if you're worried about fighting me. So I'll just pay for the whole thing, minus the hotel. And I'm going to exit. I'm going to make the video right now, so I'll see you all soon. Sounds good. You take care, Ray. Thank you for this. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we do. Club Doom. We have Dunkers. And uh, Slayer, is there anything you would like to say before we go? We've been going three hours. We're going to head off. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say is I have no personal beef with him, with you, Laz, if you're still here. But the only reason, like, that I get it, it's your friend. But mine, it was family. It was actually blood. Mm. That was the only reason I came for him. But I see no personal reason to go after you. Like, I to do, because actually... I helped dox you. Let's bang. Dox me? Let's fuck. What? Whoa. Of course. Pause. <laughs> see? That's the thing, man. You're drunk. <laughs> you're drunk? Like, when you're drunk, you just got blown off and you've had like two beers, I want to say. No, no. It takes... I don't even feel this alcohol like that. Trust me. You know how much it takes for me to actually fucking feel it, man? It's actually insane. Half a beer? Uh, about half a fucking liter of 40% or above, maybe. See, I feel like it would be more convenient for you to come over here to Cali. Then you can meet your friend in real life also. That's a great yeah, point. Actually, we, we were going to do that, but something fell through and he told me not to yet. I was like, all right, that's cool. That we actually had a plan. We had a plan to, uh, for a good stream. It was going to be like a big old donation train thing, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to give details because that's a plan from someone else's mind. Yeah. I was like, that's not a bad idea. I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. You know, Is I was going to be there. Isn't it it would have validated man. the whole covenant thing. Yes, it would have, but he didn't do it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Well, that aside, what Slayer said is that you know, you can finally meet your man. Yeah, not your man. Excuse me, your friend. If you uh, get up there, but but I think for now, what we're gonna do is just between the four of us, Slayer is gonna eat a sandwich within our private group chat, and Ray is gonna do yep. thirty push-ups. All we, right. We All are right. good we'll on that, boys. Yeah, I'll be right there. Sounds good, boys. All right, I'm gonna head. I need. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. This has been a hell of a stream. Thank you, all three of you. And thank you, everyone in the chat, for this amazing, amazing uh, whim of a moment. Truly. Appreciate you guys. Respect all of you. Yes, even you, Laz. Respectable. This is coming from... Uh, I can't say my real name. I was going to. I'll take it right now. It starts with an M. It actually starts with an M. All right. Mine starts with an R. But you already know. <laughs> And I might... want to say, uh, Sal, this has been the uh, opportunity of a lifetime right here. <laughs> Thank you, Serti. We'll do something again in the future. Everyone take care. I'm off. I am out. That was all. Never in a million years did I think that Ray and I could have a positive uh, a conversation in which we weren't at each other's throats. And thank you so much, Slayer and Sir T, for being there.